after the state Supreme Court struck down Governor Whitmer's emergency orders. Since then, confusion has been swirling. On Friday, Michigan's highest court ruled against the governor's order to extend a coronavirus-related emergency past April 30th. The governor is asking that the ruling not take effect for another 25 days or until October 30th. Yeah, and there had been questions mounting all over what this would mean for schools, masks, even nursing home visits. Still in question, unemployment benefits. The governor warning that over 800,000 Michiganders could lose their unemployment benefits because of the Supreme Court's move. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast joins us live tonight in Southfield to break down the impact to Michigan's jobless workers. Brett. Yeah, that ruling wiped away months of orders, among them orders that actually expanded unemployment benefits during the pandemic. These are people that are truly unemployed through no fault of their own because of a pandemic. Um, and, and now they're likely to lose their access to benefits. When law professor Rachel Cole first heard the Supreme Court ruling, she immediately thought about the thousands of unemployed workers relying on benefits, which had been expanded by Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Her executive order during this time really um, protected the state in a lot of ways. It protected workers, it protected employers, and it protected our state budget. Cole says some of the governor's executive orders expanded work share programs to help those with reduced hours, help the state use more money from the CARES Act, and allowed more people in need to access benefits quickly. Her executive orders really tried to help streamline some of these red tape issues so that workers could get paid benefits. With the governor's emergency powers now gone, any expansion of state unemployment has to come through the legislature. The governor asked for clarity on when that ruling takes effect, hoping for more time. I'm hoping that because this is an emergency situation, that the, the legislature will act quickly to be able to work or to allow certain executive, executive actions to be taken during this time. The ruling does not impact anyone on federal unemployment insurance, but Cole says those receiving benefits will likely see a change. It might not actually render people ineligible or disqualified, but it could. And that's where the fear is for, for thousands and thousands of people. Now again, Governor Whitmer has filed two motions asking that these uh, the rulings not take effect until October 30th. Reporting here in Southfield, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right, Brett, thank you for that.